Hello Tubes, Bruce here. Well today we're going to work on the old Alice Chalmers 716H. And uh, the first thing that needs to be done if we're going to use it to uh, till the soil or to be useful at all is to change the belt on the tiller. Excuse me. And uh, this is just a little look at the belt I took off of there. You can see that it's chewed up. Looks like the uh, if you see real close there, you can see where the eye, where the pulley was digging in and it moved forward and dug in again and burnt right through. So I, I uh, did get the tiller to, to spin with this on there, but it was pretty uh, pretty clunky and, and had a lot of vibration naturally because of that chunk being missing. And it's in really bad shape all the way around. So I went to my local inexpensive uh, bulk place and I found a, a B90 inch and that was too short. <laughs> I couldn't fit the idler pulley around it like that. But I did go around and around. So I took that back. They were nice enough to take it back. And I got a I got a B92. And it's exactly the same size as this one. We hope. And uh, I thought I would show you how I'm going to uh, install this belt because not everybody has access to the manuals. Now, now excuse me, I want to hold this as close as I can. One sec. There we go. So I've got the uh, the original manual to this old tractor, and there's an actual spot in here to explain how to install the blade. with all of the hinge points and everything. And that right there is the, no, uh, yes, that idler pulley there is the one where the short belt wouldn't go around. So when I take you out there, we'll have a look at that. I'll just hold that there for a second. So that's the evil, the evil one. So anyway, we'll uh, take you back outside and do this. So we'll talk to you in a bit when I get outside. Okay, tubes. This is the setup. This is that idler pulley I was telling you about. <laughs> well, that spring, spring will stay tight. Come down like that. So it comes across the top, around and up and through, and then over to the front. Okay, so we'll continue on around the top, around the PTO drive, back through there and there and around. Put you back down where you're nice and still. That seems to work well. And now the only thing I have to do is to put this pulley, that idler on that shaft right there. And I'll show you that when I get it on. And then we'll test it. So this is a shot from under the seat. And that, that idler pulley is going to go right there. Okay, tubes, let's just have a look at this belt. I hope it's tight enough. So, there's the PTO pulley, or drive. I'll call that a pinch idler, because it pinches the belt down onto the pulley from the top, and it also connects on the return from the bottom, up over the idler that we just installed, or that we, uh, that we just put the spring on for. It's a new spring, and then around the drive belt and back. 
So now I'm just going to oil it up and do a little greasing. It actually has two, two grease fittings there and there. And then I'm going to just oil up some of the uh, moving parts and we'll see if she goes around and around. Be back in a bit. Hey tubes, it's a good thing we don't run out and start things up right off the bat because I forgot this little bracket. It looks like a belt retainer. I'll just lift you up and show you where the other side of that nut is. It's right there. And I have to tighten that up now. And it just does a belt retaining like that. I'll just tighten it up and we're done. Alright guys, I have uh, oiled and lubed just about everything that has a joint or a grease nipple. The steering seems a little better, and now I'm going to start it up for you. And we'll see if that tiller goes round and round. Okay, I call that a success. Hi guys. Well, I'm just doing a... We're going to service this tractor now. I did get this belt on properly. But I don't know if you can see that this pulley right here is at a bit of an angle. So I actually put a washer in behind, back in there, two washers, to move the pulley this way. Because I noticed that the edge of the belt just got roughed up a little bit and I think it's from this edge of the pulley here. So now it's been sitting and you can see it's still touching there. We're going to run it now and see if it rubs. I did add two more washers in there, right there, so that this belt would ride in the middle. It took some experimenting. I ended up changing it three times. You can still see it's close to the edge there. So that's good. While I had the tiller in the down position, I just checked the transmission fluid. And that's back in behind, right there. That's the cap for the transmission fluid. And I took it off counterclockwise and they say it has to be within a half an inch of the top and it is and the tractor nose is just a bit low so that's good the tube is quite long so we're pretty sure so now the transmission fluid's been checked the belt's been checked on the back I've greased all of the points I can reach and I'm going to move it into the garage I'm going to uh, change out the fuel and put a new fuel filter on change the oil on the tractor after I warm it up and grease the two fittings underneath. Alright, BTHV1 over and out.